Welcome and thank you for watching the Ask Chiss Neighborhood Edition Quick Tutorials. In this video, we'll cover accessing the application and running your first query. To access Ask Chiss NE, you can go to askchissne.ucla.edu as depicted in the address bar. Alternatively, you can also go to the healthpolicy.ucla.edu website, hover over Ask Chiss, then click on Ask Chiss NE. To access the application, you will need a free account. You can use your existing Ask Chiss account, or if you don't already have one, you can click on the Create an Account button. That process should take about 10 seconds, and you'll be well on your way to querying Chiss data. Let's log in by entering my credentials. Ask Chiss Neighborhood Edition provides a variety of health topics at multiple levels of geography. From health behaviors like smoking and physical activity, to health outcomes like diabetes and heart disease, to access and utilization indicators like uninsured. You can query these indicators for California counties, legislative districts, cities, and zip codes. The homepage of Ask Just Neighborhood Edition provides a quick three-step process to create your first query. You select a topic from the left-hand navigation, add a location, and you can add up to five locations per table, and then visualize your data using a multitude of data visualization tools. Let's begin by looking at asthma. I can click on the asthma health topic, and I notice that this indicator is available for multiple years. I'll click on 2014, and then I'll notice two indicators for asthma, ever diagnosed with asthma 1 to 17, and ever diagnosed with asthma 18 plus. The numbers in parentheses represents the age group for that indicator, so it's 1 to 17 years of age, or 18 years plus. I can also hover the eye icon to get some additional information. So in this case, this indicator refers to adult respondents ages 18 plus who were ever diagnosed with asthma by a doctor. Let's click on this indicator and we'll notice that the state estimate for asthma in 2014 is loaded in my table. From here, I can find the plus location or add location button in the top left corner of my table to begin adding locations. Once I click on that button, I'll be taken to a search for location search bar, where I can search for any type of location available in Ask Just Any, including county, legislative district, city, and zip code. Legislative district in this case refers to assembly districts, senate districts, as well as U.S. congressional districts. Let's say I'm interested in finding an estimate for my zip code, which is 90024. I will type the zip code into my search box, click on the search button, and you'll notice that the application returned a result for the 90024 zip code. To add it to my table, I can click on it. You'll notice that it's added to the current selection. And then I can click on the Create Table button to get an estimate of asthma 18 plus for my zip code 90024. Now remember that Ask Chiss Neighborhood Edition provides estimates for more than just zip codes. So I could go back and also search for cities and counties. So in this case, let's search for Los Angeles. And you'll notice that the application returns multiple results. Whenever you search for a term and ask just any, the application will try to match your search term to all available geographic locations within the system. And so in this case, I searched for Los Angeles and it returned Los Angeles County, East Los Angeles, Lake Los Angeles, and Los Angeles City. Let's go ahead and add the county and the city to my selection, click on Create Table, and now I have an estimate for adult asthma for both the state, the county, the city of Los Angeles, and my specific zip code 90024. Because interviewing the entire population of California would be extremely cost prohibitive, CHIST draws from a representative, random sample of the non-institutionalized California population to provide estimates. Although this might be an oversimplification, you can interpret the 95% confidence interval as follows. We are 95% confident that the true value or true estimate of asthma in this case falls somewhere within the lower and upper bound of the 95% confidence interval. The population universe reflects the total population that this estimate refers to. So in this case, it's the entire adult population of California, around 28.5 million adults in 2014. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us at askchiss at ucla.edu.